Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Arthur Polela from uh, Levi Mwanawasa Hospital, uh, anesthesiologist there. I'm also an ambassador for the African Society of Regional Anesthesia. Today we're going to look at um, the infratravicular block, the perfect block for um, forearm and hand surgery. Um, you want your patient facing on the contralateral side, you want your screen directly opposite you, and for that you need a linear pro probe with a depth of about uh, three to five centimeters. You also need uh, a needle uh, of length about 50, 50 millimeters. So once the preliminary is done, that you've got your local anesthetic and um, you have uh, cleaned the patient in a sterile manner, you can do a preliminary scan. The landmarks are such that uh, it's in the fossa, infracavicular fossa basically, that's where you put your probe with the pointer facing towards you so that your needle can come from the lateral aspects of the needle into your field of, of, of interest. So you just want to put your, your, your probe right in the infracavicular fossa and look for the subclavian artery. Okay, in this case we need to increase the depth a little bit and uh, add a bit of gain. Okay, so you have uh, a classic appear ap appearance of uh, the pec major, is the most super superficial muscle, and deep to, to each of the pectoralis uh, minor. And uh, you have the subclavian artery, which is evident by uh, a pulsating artery right below the uh, pec, pec, pec minor. So you want to direct your needle underneath the artery, and as you deposit your local anesthetic, you see it push the artery upwards. You want to um, push your needle from uh, in the middle of the probe so that you can see all the way through it. And once you introduce it, the needle will come from the lateral aspect of the of the, of the screen and you direct it underneath the artery. You deposit about 20 to 30 mils of your local anesthetic in that area and you have uh, good um, anesthetic effects. Thank you very much.